Hi there, Commanders! Guardian E here with another recruit video for Goddess of Victory Nikkei, and here we are on the first banner of the summer event for 2024 in Nikkei, featuring the new swimsuit variant of Sakura, Bloom in Summer, that you can see here. So the limited time recruitment pickup, that does mean, of course, that Sakura is a limited time character. You can only pull her during this event or while this banner is live, uh, or, or any successive reruns in the future, but she's not going in the regular pool, and so we are going to be pulling for her today. And so with the update came all of the summer celebration fun so we got the new event obviously the new character here with sakura we do have the return of last year's summer unit so we actually have neon blue ocean as well as mary bay goddess having their own pickup recruitment banners which of course uh is different from how they ran uh re-ran limited characters for the christmas event so it looks like they are you know, taking feedback into consideration, I guess with the latest survey, that's kind of where they landed to give them their own separate banner. So they're not pullable on this particular banner with Sakura. Uh, they are going to be uh, rated up at 2% on theirs. So Sakura is going to be at the 2% out of the total 4% on this banner. We've got a whole host of decadent new skins. We got amazing mini games that they dropped too. So can't wait to dive into everything, take a look at everything. But before that, we've got some business to do, and that business is getting ourselves Sakura. So we got a lot of vouchers to go through here that uh, we're not going to go through all of them uh, up front. We're not going to go through all of them. We just really want one copy of Sakura. Um, so fingers crossed we get a little bit of luck here. Our luck in, in Nikkei has been a little bipolar. I'm going to get started here with our first 10 pull. So, uh, you know, it, it's usually either amazing or the worst so hopefully it's something in between today and i don't know if i can take the stress so okay it's gonna be purple to start things out okay we're just starting it out it's okay it's all right only three uh only three purples here three srs that's gonna be double neon all right and a delta to boot okay let's go into the next multi and hope we get some gold flashes here so I, I so if I'm excited to see what the theming is for the upcoming summer for this summer event. Obviously, ooh, okay, all right, we got an SSR. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's make it happen. Let's get our gangster girl. Come on, some fun in the sun gangster action. So that's gonna be what number seven, something like that. Two, three. Hey, Anis, Rappi, four, five. Oh, we got the. Did we get all the counters? That's got to be a good sign. Okay, come on, Elysian. That's not her. <laughs> that's not her because she's Tetra. I am missing a whole bunch of characters. Oh, Maiden is very appropriate given the fact that she did get a swimsuit skin as part of the event. Um, I believe I have her max limit broken, so it's still nice. Or, or maybe this might be one step towards max limit breaking. I can't remember, um, but I think I'm close. So uh, we didn't get her here. Uh, I am actually missing. We did get a full counter spread. Um, I am actually missing a whole bunch of characters because I've skipped a lot of banners. So there, the, each one of the manufacturers has a bunch of Nikkei that I would love to have um, outside of, of course, Sakura. But of course, Sakura is our main target. All right. Ah, purple. Okay. Uh, but like I said, I am curious about, th about the event. Uh, just theming-wise, getting kind of the... I, I, I do like um, Underworld Queen in general. I think they're a fun group. And then, of course, there's there's Viper in the mix, as well as Jackal. So, so there, there's a criminal angle here. There's Guilty as well. So I, I am curious how it's all going to pan out. So this is multi number four, I think. Thereabouts. Come on. Come on. Ooh, okay, purple. Can it switch? No. No fake out for me. Oh, no. Only two SRs. Ugh, you hate to see it. Hate to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Recruit again. Right back in. Multi five. Multi five. It's fifty pulls deep. Let's do a quick one. Let's do a quick draw. Three, two, one, go. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on, Sakura. Start our summer dreams with some love, lovely luck, please. Two, three, four. So Sakura is Tetra. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Missileless. Who is it going to be? Oh, okay. Naga. That's actually, I think, my first dupe of Naga. So that's, that's actually pretty nice. Very, very useful character and a, a gorgeous design as well. I absolutely love Naga. So that's great. Um... You know that, that's useful for sure. I'm 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 okay with that. All right. 
Okay. All right. 50 in, I think. I may have miscounted. Let's go into the 60. All right. And... Oh, purple. Maybe I should stick to the quick draws. Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> one purple? <laughs> Who's our one purple? Oh, Balorda. Of course it's Balorda. Okay. Come on, Sakura. We're ready for your photo shoot. Let's get it going, please. Okay, come on. We'll do a quick draw again, because that seemed to work out last time. Quick draw! Okay! <laughs> Alright, come on, come on, come on. Let's stop teasing now, Sakura. Please? Alright. Was that number seven? Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Oh no, it's number six. Tetra! Come on, Tetra! Pull through Tetra. Come on. Come on! Yes! Yes! Okay! <laughs> oh. oh, she looks magnificent. Oh, I've I've always been I've always liked Sakura. Again, like I said, I like I like all three of the under underworld queens. R.I.P. Moran. I hope I hope Moran gets her day in the sun. But uh, it's all about Sakura today. That classy, dignified air. She just always appears so gentle and composed, and obviously uh, looks fantastic wrapped in a string bikini. That is a fantastic look for her, and I am thrilled, thrilled to have her. That is fantastic. Okay, all right. So at the end of the day, not too bad actually. Not too bad as far as the uh, the pulls went. So I'm actually very, very okay with that. Uh, I don't know, it was like 70? 70, 70 deep? Something like that? Maybe 80? I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I think it was 70. Uh, of course, we've got the vouchers ready for Rosanna, who is going to be hitting in a week, and we're definitely going to be pulling for her. Uh, when she goes live, you can even see her right here uh, in the preview for Sakura, just kind of taking cover. So we are 100% going to be going for her too. Um, but let's go ahead and head on over to just check out everything that's new. Like, there's so much that dropped today. Uh, we'll just take it all in uh, kind of a piece at a time. Uh, we'll start by taking a look at Sakura. So Sakura is going to be a Burst 3 attacker. The leader of Seimei Kai dons a swimsuit and arrives at Coral Island for the magazine photo shoot. This summer, she will stop at nothing to attain all that she desires. Now, of course, she is known to have that tenacity, that powerful grace amidst her smaller frame. Light string bikini gives a tantalizing view. Absolutely picture perfect. She does a little pivot with the parasol. You get a nice view of the design uh, of the Sakura tree. The Sakura blossoms across the top of the parasol as well. Really, really pretty. Again, gorgeous flowers in her hair. She's got fashionable chic shades on her head. I love how in the animation there's the subtle shift of her hair across her shoulders. The red bikini looks absolutely amazing on her, of course. You have that leafy plant in the back. You have the high-class liquor sitting next to her on the table. We can go into her shooting animation here. So, uh, I, <laughs> I do like how the shawl and the skirt does kind of open up in the back to make sure not to block too much of the view. The ribbons in her hair, the bow actually kind of doing a little flop too as she kind of uh, switches her aim across the field. Very nice. The reload animation. Super quick reload animation. I don't even see her really uh, swap the magazine. Yeah, the Sakura branch with the petals. Really, really nice touch too. Nice stuff. And then here, of course, is the chibi <laughs> striking a pose. She doesn't actually have her parasol, which is interesting enough, although maybe in the tap animation. So here she is strutting with the shades down. Gotta love it. Gotta love the confidence. There she is firing. <laughs> Very nice. Reload animation. Quick swap. Checking the chamber. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Giving it a little slap. Uh, there's her stun. Oh, <laughs> uh, have you seen Moran? After all, she looked at took the photos. After she looked at all the photos that we took at the beach, she started sulking, and I haven't seen her since. No, Moran, no! <laughs> Oh, Moran, Moran will get her redemption, I am sure. I am sure she will. Um, when will we get to spend some time alone? You you name the time and place, Sakura. We'll, we'll make time. We'll make time. All right, so that is Sakura. We'll take her for a spin in the shooting gallery and, of course, uh, talk a little bit about her kit uh, at the same time. All right, so we're going to take her for a test drive in the old shooting gallery here. I just slapped together this team with uh, another Wind DPS, which is a Scarlet Black Shadow. Um, but yeah, so we wanted to just kind of see how she does as a support burst three. Firing out there, okay. And then that burst animation, absolutely picture perfect. Glorious, glorious shot. 
She looks fantastic. Gotta love it. Really, really glorious animation. So, the, I'll, I'll go ahead and put her uh, skills and her entire kit up on the screen so you can see. But the long and short of it is that she's going to excel in boss situations and scenarios that involve multiple regenerating parts. Things like Mother Whale. She gets a ton of buffs as enemy parts are destroyed, and she gains Sakura Petal status, uh, which deals severe damage over time. So it's a specialty that's definitely worth covering, definitely worth having in your back pocket for uh, different raid bosses and things like that. Uh, you can bust her out whenever there is a particular raid boss with a lot of different regenerating parts, and it does seem like she's going to be pretty uh, pretty useful even outside of that specific niche. It does also seem like she's going to be naturally synergistic with Swimsuit Rosanna, who's going to release next week as a Burst 2 supporter, has a similar affinity for uh, destroying enemy parts too. So it, it does seem like they're kind of birds of a feather, at least in that way. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the skins that dropped alongside this event. We're going to start with Maiden because she's actually been in the game for a while since the last patch. And her mission pass just became available a couple of days ago. Um, so you can acquire her by getting the premium rewards for the mission pass. And here she is in her swimsuit. <laughs> and she looks magnificent under the sun. She's uh, shed that mask, of course, and much of her other clothing at the same time slipped into this glamorous, strappy one piece, definitely exuding some diva vibes with this just marvelous display of beautiful curves. The black obviously contrasting very, very nicely with her fair, flawless skin. And she's got those stunner shades up top, too. A uh, little bit of a surprise, startled animation. I guess she's just shocked at just how gorgeous she is. And then her shooting pose. There we go. <laughs> the parting of the hair is a beautiful thing. The low-riding bikini bottoms giving us plenty of eye candy to enjoy. The reload animation. There we go. And then the sprite, very cute. <laughs> I just love, I love her walking animation. Just overwhelming confidence, that hubris, just strutting her stuff as she's walking down the aisle. Got the uh, battle animation firing. I like how the, the glasses actually bounce off of her head too with the recoil. There's the reload, very nice. Uh, there's the stun animation. Uh-huh, yep. Uh, I like the church. It's nice and quiet. It makes for a good hiding spot. <laughs> uh, the outpost is perfect for putting your feet up and taking a load off. Indeed, indeed. Very, very nice. I am most assuredly going to be picking this skin up for Maiden from the Battle Pass, so... Yeah, I definitely have my eyes locked on this one. So next up is the aptly named Watermelon Pass, uh, which features a new skin for Guilty. And this is actually, I think, the first skin for any of the Liberation units, which is pretty nice, because the Liberation units all have absolutely phenomenal designs. Um, they take a lot of time investment to get, um, and they're not, like, the most amazing units I from a gameplay or power perspective, but that's that's secondary. That's not important. Uh, Guilty is worth it, and this skin is absolutely amazing, as you can see here. You've got a watermelon at the bottom here that is about to burst from all of the uh, the rubber bands, and then you've got a metal bat that's been uh, severely damaged at the handle from her just monstrous strength of Guilty here. Uh, the tap animation, she kicks the watermelon, a crab flies up and then bounces off of her. I mean, Guilty's just outrageous, world-class physique wrapped up in this attractive green and white two-piece. She looks so ridiculously gorgeous. Fabric just strains against her voluptuous proportions. The colors are attractively bright, neon, matching the highlights of her hair. She's got beautiful flowers in her hair. And her hands are still tied uh, for, for both her safety and ours, uh, but it does seem like she can finally relax, enjoy some outside beach fun, and look absolutely phenomenal doing it. So here is her shooting pose, and oh god. Her shooting pose is actually one of the more uh, striking dynamic ones with the leg extended too. And obviously there's even more to admire with the two-piece swimsuit. A lot of recoil action up front too. Uh, and again, I like how her hair is done up with the flower. It's really, really pretty. And the pose is just an absolute delightful treat, uh, as you can see. And then here are her uh, chibi animations. So this is the idle animation that she has. Here's her marching along. She looks a little distressed. Uh, firing pose, shooting off some rounds, there she goes, reloading the chamber, uh-huh, yep, yep, <laughs> there she is, dizzy and stunned, and then, uh, 
Maiden was teaching me how to play a game, but I got a bit angry and hit the keyboard, and now it's busted. <laughs> so, guilty raging and breaking the keyboard. Uh, you said that's the swimming pool, right? Do you think there's a great white shark in there? Is she looking to wrestle a great white shark? I mean, she could do it. You could you could uh, honestly charge admission for that show. Uh, yeah, so this is another one that I'm almost assuredly going to be picking up. I, she looks way too good to pass up. Now, also as part of the Dan the Diver collaboration, Mask got a new diving suit skin that you can get through the mission pass. Again, you have do have to purchase the premium rewards for it. Um, but here she is, so in her diving suit. It's very cute. It's a cute look for her. Uh, take a, a closer peer here. So she... <laughs> The shocked expression at the uh, at the wiggling fish in her hands. Uh, I love her uh, her parrot just like dressed up. Uh, I, I guess she's kind of, it's kind of cosplaying as um, Boncho a little bit. I guess with the shades and the kimono. So got like a diving equipment in the back. She's holding an ice box, uh, ready to procure some some delicious delectable fish to enjoy at the sushi bar. And of course that taut wetsuit just clings tightly to her fabulous body line. She's got that cheerful chipper attitude. The uh, high cut carve out of the wetsuit backside really, really very much appreciated. So we get to uh, enjoy an eyeful of masks plump thighs and backside during the shooting pose. Uh, the actual thigh high is just sinking into the softness of her legs. Take a look at the shooting pose here. So firing off some rounds. Yeah, uh, definitely an awesome look. She's got the oxygen tank behind her. Um, the, her parrot brandishing the knife, the diving knife, which is nice. And then you have the uh, the little <laughs> the little crab down below that has the um, the little fish is doing a dance. Gotta love it. And I do love how her twin tails just kind of peek out of the sides of the the wetsuit too. <laughs> it's very charming. So here's her idle animation. There she is plopping along with the uh, the wetsuit fins. That's pretty cute. Firing off some shots, you get the recoil on the oxygen tank and her twin tails. The reloading animation too. Very nice. There she is, stunned and dizzy. Uh, hmm, isn't there somewhere even deeper than a swimming pool? Well, there sure is. You've been in there. You've been in there, Mask. After going through all that trouble to put on the diving suit, there's no ocean here? What a bummer. All right, so mask skin, super cute. Love the expressions. Uh, I'm not 100% on picking this one up or not, uh, but she does look good in it, uh, and I like how it is them thematically tying into the whole mini game. It's very nice. Uh, now, Anchor also gets a free skin. You actually can earn this just by going through and grinding the event itself. Anchor the Diver, again, tied into the whole collaboration, which is really nice. She's got the goggles and the wetsuit. It actually does reflect kind of a school swimsuit design. She's got a little bucket of seashells and other knickknacks. I actually really like the backdrop behind her with the rain rainbow and the twisted perspective a little bit with the uh, the islands in the back and the horizon blue ocean waters and the sky uh, she's got like some seagulls hovering around her too <laughs> looks like she's got some crocs on alongside the wetsuit here's the firing pose she's got the wetsuit fins actually tied to her hip there which is really nice and then here is the chibi animations very cute that giant rocket launcher that she's wielding Firing off those shots. There she goes. Pretty elaborate reload animation and everything. Slapping it to the side. <laughs> Dizzy. And then uh, the fact that these clothes cling to my body actually helps with my detection abilities. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, what's this I'm holding? It's a starfish. Do you want to see it? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so that is Anchor. It's nice to get a nice to get a free skin out of it. And of course, here is the costume gotcha with the new gotcha skin for Viper. Viper getting a lot of love uh, with the new skin, as well as a lot of representation, of course, in the event. She's also gotten a new favorite item slash treasure, which is really nice to see. Um, so again, Viper fans eating eating very, very well. Uh, I mean, just the burst animation for this one is mind-numbingly attractive. It's just I don't know if it's a reference to like her being a snake, like a viper and, and a snake of temptation and biting into like the forbidden apple. Is that an apple? I don't know if it, maybe it's an, a peach or a, I don't know. It's some kind of fruit anyway. Um, but if we take a closer look here, we can admire the animation. So she gives us a little coy wave, <laughs> a little hearts flying up to the open design of the shirt. Uh, the implication, of course, being that she's wearing one of our shirts over top the uh, the lacy lingerie design of the swimsuit. Uh, she's nestled into this hammock, this kind of rope cross net hammock. Uh, one leg in, one leg out and exposed. 
And again, she's giving us a little, <laughs> a little smile, a little wave. It really does play into the seductive and teasing nature of Viper as a whole. Just the, the open shirt providing a magnificent view of her generous, sultry curves wrapped in that lacy bra. Oh man, just this captivating glisten across her smooth skin. You got these almost psychedelic colors of the. Uh, pearlescent coloring of the palm trees behind her too. Uh, her shooting pose here, again, open design of the shirt, giving us a look. Here's the shooting animation. Not, not a big fan of the hair blocking the view. I mean, they could be going for the suggestive angle of questioning whether or not she's wearing anything down below. But we already know that she's wearing bottoms from her chibi sprite, like you can see here. So that mystery has, is, is kind of dissolved at that point. She's just tossing. Oh, that's really cute. That's really cute. Uh, it's definitely full of life. It's, it's super adorable. Got the flowers raining down and then she kind of tosses more flowers and then jumps off of the hammock. Uh, definitely very, very lively. Here's her walking animation. Looks very chipper. And firing off some rounds, the reload, check in the chamber, there she is, dizzy. When you're done here, why don't you slip into your swimming trunks so we can have a pool date? Yes, please. Uh, this is a, a, such a rare occasion, so I want to take lots of pictures with you. Come a little closer, honey. Aw, she's so sweet. And manipulative. She can manipulate me any day of the week. Yeah, so I got some thinking to do. I do love me some Viper. I am a Viper fan. Um, so I am tempted by this, but I also have her bunny suit skin, which I absolutely adore too. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll think it over, but I, I definitely love certain elements of, of how, what they've done with this skin for sure. So something that they added in this update that's worth noting is they added a profile title system. So you can see up here where it says new face and there's the red dot. You can go ahead and tap that. And it actually shows a selection of different titles you can earn in the game, uh, claim, and then use to sort of, sort of customize your own profile. And especially when you're in the player lists and everything in the rankings, it shows there. So it does seem like uh, there's a bunch that are milestones related to actually like story progression and other different achievements. But there's also individual Nikkei titles like you can see here. So, uh, well, let's go, go ahead and grab all the ones that I've got here. <laughs> okay, um, but the individual Nikkei titles, for example, with uh, Red Hood's Handsome, if you take a look at the ownership info, these are what you need to complete in order to earn it. So uh, you have to go through all of her advice sessions, like see all of the different advice sessions. You need to get max bond. So in the case of Pilgrims, that is max bond 40. For uh, all other Nikkei, it would be max bond 30. And they have to be equipped with a full set of overload gear. I don't think the overload gear has to be maxed, but I think they, they do have to have a full set of overload gear. This is actually going to incentivize me because I've been kind of stingy with my, my overload gear and uh, locking the, the tier 9 gear to particular Nikkei. Um, th this might actually incentivize me to uh, start being a little bit more liberal with um, with locking some of that tier 9 gear. So well, let's go into the event itself. Beautiful shot. Oh, uh, looks like tensions are tight on the beach. Oh, look at that shot. Oh... Oh, look at this. Are those seals? What is that? Is that a Kraken, uh, Kraken stone structure? Oh, man. All right. Beautiful shot. Story one challenge. Now let's go ahead and grab, grab some of these hidden lost relics. Grab our login stamps. Check everything out. Now, I think there are some mini games just strewn throughout the, uh, the actual beach. Beautiful magazine. Oh, starting off. Starting off with some advanced recruit vouchers. Um, okay, and, and I think there are some mini games. Actually, if I remember correctly, oh holy, you turn into a boat. <laughs> wait, so does that mean we can go from island to island too? That's pretty cool. So wait, let's wait. So let's check it out. Can we like actually? Oh, we can. Look at that. That's so neat. Oh, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> I like it. So you can actually traverse to different islands. And I'm sure different islands will open up as the story progresses too. All right, all right, I dig it. It's nice to see the counters and, and last year's summer units uh, making an appearance here too. There's a, oh, look at the whale. So it does seem like the premise, at least at the start, uh, is that we're on the surface to do a beach photo shoot for a magazine for, for that features uh, Underworld Queen, as well as Viper, so I guess it's like a criminal edition, <laughs> something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm super curious about the story. 
can't wait to dive into it, check out some of the, uh, the minigames and everything else. Story 1, those stunning shots of the two marquee ladies, absolutely gorgeous. So there's photo spots, game guide, Viper will take photos of the elements in the event field. I'll set the shooting options and take the photo to obtain the photos of the area. Special spots require you to set the correct shooting options. You cannot take photos if shooting options are incorrect. Okay. Uh, all right. Photo shoot. It looks like there's no wildlife uh, or people. So I guess we pick the environment shot. And we definitely don't need a flash. Let's let's go with this. Take the shot. Let's go Viper. Get some good... Uh... <laughs> Wait. Neon. I don't know if that's... I, I don't know if that... That doesn't seem like a good result. I don't know if that was... It may not have been a success. Uh, and then... Oh, here we go! Fishing! Alright, so... When you're in the boat... Uh, I guess any of these little kind of... Uh, vorpal areas in the water where there's fish, you can go fishing. Let's check it out. So this is going to be Maiden's minigame, I guess. I'm going to go fishing. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Oh, so she's interested in fishing because of a fishing game that she played. Uh, we can purchase bait. Let's not do that right now. And we've got just a, a regular old fishing rod. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's proceed. Start fishing. Okay. Uh, and... Okay. I'm concentrating here. Trying to catch the fish. And who we got? Fishing success! Pufferfish! Oh, Okay. Uh, I caught a pufferfish. No, this is a cactus. And it looks like a pufferfish to me. It's a cactus. It's clearly a pufferfish. All right, sold automatically. And there's the fishing collection up here. Okay. You can view the information on the fish. Tap the icon. All right, so you can use gold to purchase minigame items. So it looks like there's all kinds of fishing rods that we can pick up. There is... Uh, <laughs> look at these. Different kinds of bait. And then uh, different enhancement parts, right? I see doesn't say what they do. Oh, here we go. I uh, can't sleep inside the box. It's narrow inside and hard to lie down. So it increases casting bonus probability. Okay, all right. It's pretty robust. So some of these stuff uh, is locked. So that you got to get the ice box before you can get this large ice box. Got to get the screw propeller before you can get this thing over here. So okay, all right. Uh, looks like all the bait is unlocked at the start though. Take the shot. Let's see what you got, Viper. Make the magic happen. Oh god! <laughs> Guilty, is this the spot here? What do you mean? You're not talking about the head, are you? Maiden, get out of there! Run! <laughs> oh, these are so cute. I guess you can just collect all of the different photos in the album, I, I suppose. Give that a try. Oh no! Anis, what's wrong? You're always eating things you shouldn't, so you deserve a really painful injection. Mary! <laughs> I haven't even given you this shot yet. I was just practicing. <laughs> Aww. Uh, through the various menus on the island, adventure log, you can obtain information, purchase, and equip tools needed to explore the island. You can check the photo spots or view your photos in the photo album, and check the fish you caught or use the Go Now feature to the fishing, uh, in the fishing collection. You can purchase the tools needed for exploration in the shop, and manage equipped tools and those in your own equipment. Okay, so there's the shop. All right, you can get different equipment, the collection album, the fishing collection tutorial and the different missions and you can collect all the different missions here i see nice and uh and a bunch of challenges in here too wow there's so much to do there's so much to do and of uh of course there's a ranking system too the different equipment so what is in the equipment oh wow you can upgrade the boat or actually i guess it's just the different um fishing materials right like the different uh equipment and enhancement materials so i think that's all that is uh, the shop for the... Yeah, so this is where you can buy the fishing stuff, the collection album, view different information on the photo spots, different information there. There are two kinds of photo spots, ordinary and special photo spots. You can take photos at ordinary spots without setting any shooting options. You can only take photos at special photo shots with the correct shooting options. Oh, okay. Hints about the shooting options for the special photo spots will be provided. So it didn't even matter what I was selecting before uh, with the other ordinary shots. Okay. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you can check them out here and re uh, relive some of the dialogues. So that's nice. Oh, this is really nice. There's just so much to collect and just kind of chill and and, uh, and go through. I like it. Uh, what's gotten into you? To think you'd invite me for a drink? Maybe I just wanted to have a drink with a rascal. 
Well, I guess I also wanted that with a lady. Alright, so Aegis the Diver, the button on the main lobby screen here. Game will switch to landscape mode for Aegis the Diver, okay. Oh, this is awesome, okay, alright. So, uh, currently we just have Mast, we can get Helm and Anchor. And it looks like we can upgrade firearms and everything too. It does look like the currency and everything is separate from the uh, the actual event, so the coins don't like carry over. Eye Diver, so here's additional equipment, that's good to know. And so it looks like uh, the Aegis Squad is is kind of on their own adventure, their own uh, beachside adventure, uh, investigating the uh, the kind of crossover collaboration section over here, while the other Nikkei that we're we're dealing with uh, are on Coral Island. So uh, let's let's try this out. I have not played Dave the Diver before, so this is new to me. Um, but it looks like a lot. I mean, just from the preview, it looked like a lot of fun. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> That makes sense. All right, let's dive. Let's dive. Let's see where we can be. Any fish? Oh, there's a fish. So, uh, can I stab it? Yes, I can stab it. Let's stab it. Stab the fish. Is it dead? Oh, okay, I, it looks like I got it. Titan triggerfish. Ah. So what about these other smaller fish? Can I catch them too, or are they just like for decoration? I don't know. All right, let's dive. Oh, that's a that's a that's a big boy. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. Uh, okay. Uh, oh no. Oh oh. Can I can I can I get the shark? No. <laughs> no mast. No. Uh, the story of this is centered around Gatekeeper, which is that particular rapture that is involved with all of the collaboration. So it is a continuation of that. Um, and then there is a... Ah, and there's a sushi bar element to it. Okay, you've piqued my interest. Sushi, when I hear sushi, I'm interested. Alright, Bancho Sushi, uh, Norimaki. Okay, so that's the basic dish. So Norimaki, that's just uh, seaweed and rice, right? And then we can add the triggerfish, right? Yeah. There's Mast running around. So it does look like you can buy, hire more staff too. Obviously, we have no coins. Uh, ingredients, grade. So it looks like placing an order for the trigger fish. We got two trigger fish orders. So, oh, okay. So I got to press space and then serve. There we go. So I'm probably going to need to hurry up here. So unfortunately, we only, I only caught I only caught and like butchered one fish. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, so th there's only three lucky patrons that are going to be able to actually get, um, some fresh fish today. Everybody else is just going to be snacking on some Norimaki. Oh, you can even see, like, in the menu up at the top there, too. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. After rush hour has passed, Mighty Gale blows. To be able to feast on such delicious treats despite being as busy as we are, there is no bliss greater than this. It's like sailing with Captain Jack himself and feeling the breeze brush your cheeks and sea spray fleck across your body. If we had some rum, that would be truly perfect, but I already drunk the bottle I brought. Sushi and rum, quite a unique combination. Ah, Boncho. Are you not eating, Helm? Do you not like seafood? Ah, uh, no, this sushi is delicious. It's just... what? It reminds me of subordinate. Aww. Uh, the Nikkei Sushi Party, accompanied by mass overzealous singing, continues through the night. Alright! Nice! Got some 69 <laughs> again. So it does look like the final prize is... Oh, it's an event lobby screen. This is really nice. The Aegis Squad enjoying some sushi. That's great. That's great. All right. So, yeah, I could uh, <laughs> I could spend a lot of time. A lot of time in this minigame for sure. So I'm going to have my hands full for sure of Nikkei. Uh, pun intended. Uh, but let me know how your day one of the new event is going, what you're what you're cracking into and enjoying, how your pulls for Swimsuit Sakura have gone, if you've picked up any of the skins so far, um, which of the mini games you're enjoying the most. Let me know down below. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, comment down below, subscribing to the channel for more Goddess of Victory Nikkei content. We thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, let's uh, let's enjoy that summer sun and ocean waters.